Hi, this is Billy Zell with Synergy One Lending. So I'm just doing the monthly wrap up for the month of December on the rates as well as the market. So on rates, uh, we start off at 6.49 on the 30 year and we ended at 6.42 on the 29th of December according to Freddie Mac weekly survey. So we came down seven hundredths and very similar in the 15 year from 5.76 down to 5.68. And, you know, keep in mind, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have a projection at 6.2 by the end of the year. So I'm saying pretty flat uh, rates this year with slight improvement. Now, there are some folks in our industry for another reason to think we'll have a bigger drop, maybe a 1%. Uh, I hope that comes true. I'd love to see that. So let's talk about list to actual sales. So in 2021, in December, you had to go 1.52% over asked on average to get the property. It flipped this year to 98.38%. So in other words, we're more than one and a half percent under average ask for the actual close price. Keep in mind that does not include seller concessions, maybe for closing costs and stuff. So I could argue we were closer to a 2% under, but we'll, we'll kind of see how the data goes. We had more listings carry over in 22 than 21. So we had 4,757 units compared to 1,477 a year ago. So, um, and a month ago we were at 6,253. It makes sense the inventory would dry up because a lot of people kind of take stuff off the market. Let's talk about average increase in value in 2022. Some people thought we were flat or down. At the end of the year, um, uh, close price to list price, we were up 2.33%. So if you take the whole year, that was the average. Uh, 2021, it was 3.03. The last time that we had less than, uh, that the, the stuff was under ask on average was 2020, it was 99.96. So almost exact in 2020. So we've been over ask 22 and 21. Let's talk about the average close price. So everybody wants to know about this. 680,000 in 2022, up from 612, $385 in 2021. So we had a big, you know, we still had a big jump in values last year. Medium price uh, was 588 versus 521 in 2021. So everything shows the values did go up last year. Um, you know, I'm kind of guessing a flat market this year. So maybe we'll go up 1% 1, 1 as uh, what Zillow has us at. And I believe uh, Lon Welsh had a, a class uh, with me used to own your castle negative three to plus three percent was kind of his just guess so we'll get a better idea here over the next couple months what's really going on with the market uh, but if i'm a buyer i like the stability so if you get shown a rate now you're probably not going to get a gigantic spike or the forward to drop out from under you where you're like darn it i, I should have held on a little bit longer so i think it's gonna be really steady great time to buy i'd much rather buy in a steady market than what we've dealt with the last couple of years. If I'm a buyer where you have to weigh overbid, you have to settle on properties and stuff. You may not have to settle now because you're going to have a little bit of time and we can ask the seller to pay stuff based on the, the, the actual sales prices under the list. In most cases, I can be reached at 720-617-7720. Uh, 2023, I think it's going to be a great year to be a buyer getting into uh, their first property or buying additional properties. Have a great day.